Diddy has revealed something truly shocking about his own life for once. And make sure you're sitting for this one, because it's a doozy. Apparently, Diddy was manipulated into being gay by none other than Clive Davis. You know, I gotta take that shot. These revelations are nothing short of crazy, so fasten your seatbelts and join us as we get into the nitty gritty of this whole affair. In the midst of this whirlwind, the spotlight has fallen upon the iconic figure and record producer Clive Davis, revealing a tangled web of relationships and intriguing escapades. Brace yourself for the shocking revelation that Clive Davis and the legendary music mogul Diddy have been entangled in a passionate love affair for over five years. Diddy, known for his remarkable talent in producing records and owning labels, including the renowned Bat Boy Records, has undeniably left his mark on the music industry. Artists like the iconic Notorious B.I.G. and the sensational Usher have called his label home. However, whispers of curiosity emerge, questioning the astonishing rise of his empire. Now, let's delve deeper into the captivating narrative of Clive Davis, a true legend in the music industry. Renowned for his exceptional music productions, Davis's journey has taken a fascinating turn. Amidst two failed marriages, he embarked on a personal quest for self-discovery, peering into the depths of his own sexuality and exploring the possibility of uncharted desires. During this soul-searching phase, Davis shattered the boundaries of his own perception. At the age of 50, he embraced his truth and came to terms with a reality that challenged his preconceived notions of sexual orientation. He said, I never felt shame, no. I felt puzzled. The subject of bisexuality really needs much more discussion. It's a status that does exist. Now the secret is out, shedding light on the enigmatic partner who has captured Clive Davis's heart. None other than the influential music mogul Diddy has shared a profound connection with him. Although Davis has chosen to keep the details of their relationship private, their joint appearances at various events and shared experiences as openly gay individuals speaks volumes about the depth of their bond. While rumors of Diddy's triumphs in the music industry have circulated for years, the revelation of their five-year relationship adds another layer of intrigue to the tale. Of course, the ever-active online community has not hesitated to contribute their own theories to the mix. Some believe that Diddy's rise to fame was paved by certain acts. Sean Sean Diddy Combs was given his bad boy imprint by Arista's Clive Davis, who is openly gay. What Sean had to do for riches is not uncommon for successful black men in entertainment and politics. All that glitters is not gold. Run your race. Let the next man run his. Adding fuel to the rumor mill, another individual suggests, <laughs> Bro, all Diddy ever did was get literally ass-fucked by Clive Davis and throw all of his homies under the bus. G-Dep, Loon, Shine, Mace, Biggie, the list just goes on. All he had to do was partake in gay orgies. You should know better. This person, interestingly enough, claimed to have had a close encounter with Clive Davis himself. I was leaving the studio one morning. I gave a white lady a ride to Laura Canyon. She asked me, who is that on the radio? I said, that's not the radio. I just let the studio. I gave her a copy. She gave it to a guy that could help me. It was Clive Davis, and he asked me to sleep with gay men. Diddy's journey in the music industry began with a fortuitous encounter with industry legend Clive Davis. Picture a young and ambitious 23-year-old artist, hungry to make his mark in the fiercely competitive world of music. It was during this fateful meeting that Diddy's hip-hop ideas left an indelible impression on Davis, forever altering the course of their lives. Davis fondly recalls their first meeting, sharing how he was on the lookout for an artist who could genuinely connect with everyday people, and Diddy fit the bill perfectly. Puffy was 23 years old, and I knew the artists that I had, Aretha, Dion, Whitney, was one kind of music, Davis says. LaFace ushered in blue-collared R&B at its height. 
But sensing the hip-hop revolution, both L.A. Reid and I agreed that we could use someone really attuned to the street. You gotta know what you can do for yourself, and you gotta know when you need to look to other people. Back then, Diddy was working under Andre Hall at Uptown Records. However, Destiny had other plans for him once he caught Clive's attention. As Davis reflects on that fateful encounter, he recalls how Diddy passionately expressed his belief that hip-hop should be part of the mainstream Top 40, predicting a transformation in the music industry. I said, okay, you proved your point. That's when I introduced him to the weekly, what we called singles meetings. I introduced him to an executive there as someone who would help lead us to the street and share in the forthcoming hip-hop revolution. While Diddy's swift rise to stardom may appear to have stemmed from a straightforward exchange with Clive, the reality is far more complex than what Clive has presented over the years. It turns out that this encounter served as a facade for Clive's pursuit of sexual relationships with men, and Diddy was not the only person he engaged in such behavior with. It has been revealed that Clive has been involved with promising young artists, promising them a prosperous career in the music industry before becoming romantically involved with them. Interestingly, Diddy managed to avoid being cast aside after his relationship with Clive. In fact, Clive provided him with assistance in launching his own record label, Bad Boy Records, and continued to support him for years. While Clive has been candid about his sexuality, Diddy has yet to address the matter himself. Rumors surrounding the circumstances of Diddy's music career have persisted for years. In a cringe-worthy interview with Kevin Hart, Diddy dropped a bombshell, confessing that he and Usher used to wake up in the same bed. Yes, you heard that right. It seems things got pretty cozy between the mentor and his young protege. At the tender age of 14, Usher even uprooted his life and moved all the way to the vibrant streets of the Big Apple to live with Diddy. And let's just say, some eyebrow-raising activities were happening within the walls of Diddy's household. Now, we can't say for certain what kind of mentoring was taking place, but it's safe to assume that it wasn't solely focused on making hit records. There was a lot more going on behind closed doors, and the details are certainly intriguing. So, do you think there's something going on between Diddy and Clive? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest celeb updates. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!